one of the reasons that Steel and Tube's so successful is that our people, our people are passionate about what they do. Our people have fantastic knowledge around the products that we sell. And that gives our customers confidence that the advice that they're getting is right. The Len Lye Centre. This is a really interesting architectural and important national arts project in New Plymouth. The Len Lye Centre is purpose built to be the world centre for the care, access to, research and development of the works and ideas of Len Lye an extraordinary thinker and visionary artist. We're currently in the main area of the Lenlai Centre. We've got a hundred tonne of steel inside the building. This is the structural steel you can see here. Behind us is a shear wall tying the two buildings together. Uh, there's reinforcing inside that wall and in all the concrete foundations around the building. The Convor above us is quite unique. It's an innovative new product where we roll form the steel and the profile allows it to lock into the concrete, forming a stronger floor. That means we can reduce the number of beams required, so we get longer spans with less steel and that lowers the overall cost of the floor. As you can see, a typical floor slab is quite large. There's not always access to a site to bring in large slabs of concrete on site. Comfort can be brought in in sections, laid out, and then poured on site. So it's very good for space efficiency. Uh, we found in Christchurch that the com floor performed very well after the earthquakes. And as a result, uh, engineers are now looking at the product and, and looking at designing it into future buildings uh, because of its performance in the earthquakes. I understand there are the structural members up the top there that are going to tie the wall in. That's right. So we start here with the precast panels, which have been cast in three parts. And they come as a wave pattern, which will go all the way around the facade. And the stainless steel actually hangs down the outside. We call it a rain shield. Right, OK. This is the scale model of the Governor Brewster Len Lye Centre. I think it's stunning. Yeah, outstanding. I think it's going to be a really prominent project, and it's going to draw people to the area. Uh, whether they're in, into art or not. Rivet are the fabricators of the project. They're the guys that are coming up with the how-to to make the job a reality. In terms of the facade itself, there's about uh, 540 sheets of stainless and basically all those panels fit up onto the concrete on site, but like a uh, giant Meccano set. And um, while we appreciated that there's good drawings and CAD facilities, we're quite practical people, so we built a scale model and that allowed us to make sure that the sheet and the ideas and the complexity of the components is all going to fit together physically. We've got the channel which fits onto the concrete, and then we've got the pin arrangement that fits through to the slots on both sides of the channel. So the panel physically just comes along and drops onto the pin, and that allows it to move with the heat and the coolness of the day. With well, Steve, uh, he's, he's a very personable, open person, so we quickly uh, developed a relationship where we could just openly say, look, this is what we need, this is what we're trying to achieve. The material supply is such a big part of what we're doing. I need somebody that's got some background and that I've had some faith in for a while. When I was dealing with Dave there, there was a lot of questions that he didn't have the answers for, but he always came back with the answers or the options, and to me that's critical. You need great staff, you need committed staff with the knowledge and the skills to be able to perform on a daily basis to meet the needs of customers. And the two go hand in hand. You've got great staff, you've got great customers that you partner with. You end up with great solutions that uh, delivers in the interest of the customers and steel and tube as well. well. This is one of the panels that we're putting together for the project. It's the 316 number 8 finish and we've got it covered in two layers of PVC which again is unusual because we want to double the amount of protection because we're going to leave this on right until the end of the project then peel it off at the end. And um, so it's starting off as a flat sheet and then we're seeing it down to the laser cutter and cutting in these uh, slots which forms part of the hanging system for the whole building. And then we're putting the 90 degree folds in to create the edge onto the channels and then we're putting it into our formers to create the curve that the architect's looking for to follow the shape of the building and the concrete that's behind it. So this panel here is pretty much ready to hang.